the beginning of League of Legends. And what's funny about Garen is that he's so easy to play, but you'll never see him in pro play. And one of the reasons being is because, well, a lot of the pros find him cheap to play, obviously. And also, they find him easy to kite, right? One of Garen's downfalls is he can be kited really easily because he doesn't really have, um, other outside of his you know, movement speed from his Q, he doesn't really have a way to escape. He's kind of an all-in champion, right? But one of the things that make Garen OP, I guess you would say in solo Q, and for easier for people to pick up is because his kit is loaded, right? His passive heals you when you're outside of combat. His Q has a silence on it, and it's a point and click. His W is an armor um, buff and a damage reduction. So not only you're gaining stats, you're also gaming, gaining damage reduction. So you're mitigating as much damage you could take. And then on your E, you're literally spinning in a circle doing damage and armor shredding people with armor pen. <laughs> so, and then his ultimate is an execute, right? So this guy has everything. I mean, this guy is ridiculous and he has so many moves. He just, he's super loaded. He has all the moves you can think of and he's definitely my top pick for top lane. And if you're looking about getting into League of Legends and you're like wondering what champion you should probably look into getting, and to learn, I'm not saying the main Garen, I'm just saying he's an easy champion to pick up and learn, especially for top lane. All right, let's move on over to the jungle. Um, my choice I have picked for the jungle has is Master Yi. Uh, Master Yi is a very easy, straightforward champion to pick up. Now, Master Yi is not easy in the sense of he can be complicated, um, you know, to master him can be kind of difficult because, uh, no pun intended, right, Master Yi? But to master him can be kind of difficult because in higher elos, you know, people are going to know how to play against point and clicks, right? They're, they're not going to be messing around with you. This isn't low elo where you can just run around and get kills and people, you can tilt people off the face of the earth. I mean, of course, people in higher elo get tilted, right? So don't, don't, don't get me wrong there, but... What I'm saying is that Master Yi is one of those uh, champions. He is a physical champion, so he's going to want to build AD. Um, he relies off a lot of attack speed, and this guy's kit is also loaded, right? Uh, he's definitely going to be easy for newer pickers, uh, newer players to pick up. Uh, his Q is a point and click, and it does like a zigzag motion, and you bounce to all different people, and then you land at back where your first target was. Uh, your passive is um well actually let's go over the w is a heal and you reduce your damage taken by like 70 something percent so you can sit in a meditation and heal and mitigate damage and then his e is um it does true damage on every like second or third attack you do so um so that's pretty cool i mean like it's it's gonna be pretty easy to play master Yi. i mean i I would definitely recommend him for newer players if you're going to be picking up a point and click champion. This is one of them. Uh, his R is a you you move really quick, you gain crazy amount of attack speed, and he just he's one of those champions that like you know he's going to be easy to pick up. I mean he's physical damage. Uh, he's AD, so he's not you know. He's going to be one of those, I need to hit face kind of champions. So a lot of new people in the game are going to understand mechanics and different things like that. So he's going to be one of those champions where you can get in the fight action and just start attacking people and smacking on them, right? Just kind of like Garen. So my top pick for a, if you're getting into League of Legends and you need a jungler and you're new to League, I would definitely pick up Master Yi and he's going to be an easy jungler for you to learn. Uh, next, let's move on to the mid lane. Uh, the mid lane was kind of a difficult decision. Uh, there are many champions that you could probably pick up pretty easily that aren't really made, you know, mid lane mages anymore. They used to be, but uh, but my pick for the mid lane is definitely going to Annie. Uh, Annie is a champion that's also been around since the beginning of League of Legends. Uh, she has she got a never really got a rework, just more of a re, you know. Um, 
not a rework, but what do you call it? Like a reskin where they upgraded her graphics and uh, she got a VGU. There you go. Uh, she got a VGU overhaul and she looks a lot better now than her old model used to look like. And I, I haven't played too much Annie in my time playing League over the past 10, 11 years. Uh, you know, I played her here and there for support when she was really popular in support. I played her in mid lane the most, of course, because she's a mid laner. And um, watching Annie bot back in the day, you know, destroy people with her. And I, I just, I never really got into Annie too much. Uh, never really also being a mid laner uh, main. So, but Annie is a mage. Uh, she's mostly played in mid and support. That's most of the time that you will see her. I haven't really ever seen her play top or jungle, or I've seen her play in AD carry, but <laughs> I mean, you know, you're not really going to play any in AD carry at all. Uh, but yeah, she's going to build AP, and her moves are very straightforward. You know, uh, her Q is a point and click fireball. So people starting the game are going to be like, oh, that's pretty cool. It's a fireball that does damage and if you kill a minion with it if you last hit a minion with her Q you get the mana back and you get refunded that mana so that's pretty cool uh, her W is a shield and movement speed shield that also does damage reduction so her and Tibbers her ultimate the teddy bear that she throws out they both get damage reduction and you know she so she's, she's very straightforward she doesn't have complicated moves it's not like somebody jumping into league for the first time couldn't understand her moveset and pick her up pretty simple uh, her E is a uh, like a cone flame spitter type move where she just does like a flame move and a cone and it hits everybody in the area um, and then her ultimate is called Tibbers and if you didn't know she throws a bear out um, so she's holding a bear at all times and the bear's name is Tibbers and uh, the ultimate is Tibbers and She throws this bear out and Tibbers is just this giant bear that comes to life from her hand or her, whoever she's holding right Tibbers and uh, the, the doll comes to life and it attacks people and it gains like crazy amount of armor and moving speed and damage and so she's, she's pretty cool um, and I know that her passive is every like fourth or third spell she casts she gains a stun so once she gets that stun if she uses any of her damaging abilities the next person she uses on it will stun so she's really good for engage she knows she's not too difficult to pick up and for me on this list I would definitely consider playing Annie as for mid lane so if you're looking to pick up a mid laner Annie is probably your way to go if you're getting new into League of Legends all right if you're getting new into League of Legends, you're getting into it, and you're wanting to learn a Marksman. Um, this was actually a pretty hard one for me, because there was three Marksmen that I was considering. And I decided to draw, drumroll please, uh, I definitely decided to go with Ash. Um, Ash has been around also <laughs> since the beginning of League of Legends. She is a very straightforward uh, AD carry. She doesn't take a lot of skill to learn. Um, she is physical damage and she's so she's gonna build AD uh, and if you're looking to pick up a marksman and you're just getting into league Ash is gonna be your go-to her moves are really straightforward um, her Q is uh, so what's kind of funny is Ash has actually had a lot of reworks um, her moves have changed around a lot since the launch and back in the day before there were roles there used to be a joke of like Ash mid um, because there was no meta, right? There, there was no places to go, so people didn't know where to go in the game, so they would just take champions any any lane in, in the jungle or whatever. They didn't know, right? There just there wasn't an established meta yet. So Ash was taking mid lane a lot, and she'd be played, and so that's why people get the joke of Ash mid. Um, but anyways, Ash is a really good champion to pick up. You know, she she has good range on her abilities. She has a slow. Um, you know, her autos are slow and she, I know also her old, uh, E back in the day, it actually gave you passive gold, more gold every time you killed a minion or whatever. So that was pretty cool. And, uh, it was kind of weird that they put that in. I'm kind of glad they changed that. Cause it was like, okay, you know, she is easy to pick up because, so her W does like a cone, um, frost arrow basically so she shoots out a bunch of arrows in like a volley form and they shoot out 
And then her Q is, uh, um, it's, I don't remember what it's called, it's like Ranger's Grit or something like that. She, she once she autos four times on like a minion or a champion, she gains like a Ranger's thing and she can activate her Q and she gets like really fast attack speed. And on a certain target, she gains like 110% attack speed on target or whatever, and it goes like crazy. So she just, her autos go really quickly. Her E is like a, a ranger type E where she throws out like this eagle or I don't know what you call it, but it's like this thing and it's, it's, it's global. So you could throw it anywhere in the map and uh, you can reveal the fog of war. So it's cool to like scout out people and enemies in the jungle. Uh, and then her ultimate is just a giant freaking ice arrow that you shoot at people and once it hits the target it stuns them so you know if you're looking to get into bot lane ash is a really easy champion to learn and pick up and to help you start to kind of learn that marksman role you know um, marksman is definitely a harder role for newer players to pick up um, and the reason being is because you're very squishy and you rely a lot of um, your support, right? You rely a lot of the team to protect you. But not only that, you need to learn positioning. And positioning is kind of a hard thing to pick up, especially for newer players, because you know you don't really know the champions yet. You don't really know what people do, so you don't really know where to stand when you're team fighting. And uh, it's a very passive aggressive role, right? Like you wanna be passive, but then you also wanna be aggressive at the same time. So it can be very, technically mechanical role and harder to pick up a lot of people don't like playing any carry just because it has a bad reputation of people who play it are think they're god themselves and that you always need to protect them for your team to win now granted do you need your ad carry most time to win yes now in the meta today not really right like <laughs> there's so many champions out that ad carries don't even matter anymore uh, which is really sad, you know, I feel like Riot has had a hard time balancing this specific class. But anyways, if you're looking for an AD carry to pick up or a marksman, this is your champion to play. I would definitely go with Ash for my marksman pick. All right, we saved the best for last. We are going to the support role. Um, back in the day, support role was the most boring role to play ever. Maybe not to me, but everyone else. Nobody wanted the support role, right? Nobody wanted to play support because it was a boring role. You were essentially just a warding machine. Like that's all you did, right? You were just, all you did was throw wards down. And so you would use all your money to buy wards. You know, you didn't really have items and you would just buy more items to give you gold so you can buy more wards. Like that's really what you were. You were a ward funneler and that's all you did. You didn't do anything else. You were just a warder. But nowadays, support is a cool role to play. I don't mind ever playing support. Maybe even back in the day, I didn't mind playing it. I didn't complain if I got it. But most people hated that role. And if you got support, uh, people would cry to try to get out of it. Please switch me. I don't want to play support. I suck at it, you know. Or blah, blah, blah. Just an excuse to not play it. Anyways, moving on. Uh, support, for my pick, if you're looking to get into League of Legends, I know this is going to be a weird one. But I would definitely recommend Yumi. Uh, Yumi is a cat in the game. And I think the only cat in the game, actually. Other than, I guess, if you want to consider Nidalee. Uh, when she turns into her cat form. Uh, but Yumi is a really easy, non-difficult champion to pick up. She literally sits on top of champions and you don't have to do a thing. I've watched YouTube videos of people jumping in the game sitting on top of somebody and going afk to go cook dinner or going afk to go walk outside and grab the mail or whatever right she's one of those champions that you don't have to do nothing so what she does is she's her she's a cat and she rides on this magical book and you one of her moves is to attach yourself onto that champion of whoever your choice is so what you can do is you can jump on that champion you don't have to do a thing and you can heal them and you can shoot out a point and click uh, magical arrow at that point. It shoots out of her her book or whatever, and it hits people for magic damage. Um, and then her W is you can unattach from somebody and then attach somebody else, and it actually heals them and grants them movement speed, I believe. And then her E heals somebody. And then her R, if I believe correctly, um, 
it shoots out her book shoots out well not correctly i know what her r does her r um her book she'll send her book out to do like these magical waves or spell or fairy dust or whatever you want to say and she does these waves like four or five times and if people get caught in it they actually get stunned for a little bit amount of time and then get rooted or stuck or whatever so my pick for support is definitely going to go to yumi um she is very simple and easy to pick up you know if i was a new player and i saw yumi i was like oh she'd be easy to play right i wouldn't have a hard time picking her up for player um now she can have some mechanics to her right um you know who to jump on when at the right time if you can get your ad carry ahead or like a super hyper carry and play yumi and you sit on someone like singe like singe mid has been a big thing lately which is really stupid um and you get singed ahead and you have a yumi you're the game's already over like there's nothing you can do right or master yi or whatever you want to put in that role just hyper carries uh singe isn't a hyper carry but it's just he's been crazy good in mid lane lately and i don't know but anyways if you're gonna play support <laughs> this is definitely gonna be my top pick for um the support role so uh yeah i guess just to end off the video let me know if you agree with me let me know if you disagree with my list let me know if you know you think my picks are stupid and there could be different champions you can put in this role but yeah i just wanted to go over my top five beginner champions um to look out for if you're new to league of legends i hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time